If you ask me who is the best cook in the world, the answer is very easy. My mom! <laughs> When it comes to Vietnamese food, she is the best cook I know by far. And I'm home with her now, so I thought of doing a video just following her around and see what she cooked for me or what she instructed me to cook and share it with you guys. Let's go! My mom just asked what was the food I missed the most when I was in Germany and my answer is very easy. It was a dish that mostly made from green banana and she said that there's tons of green banana around the village so let's go and get some and cook it. <laughs> mm -hmm. A very important ingredient for this dish is meh. We ferment um, rice and then there will be some kind of animal living in there. They look like little worms and then they eat the rice and they turn the rice kind of sour. I know it sounds kind of scary, but believe me, <laughs> it's safe to eat. We always cook it and the smell is amazing. It's like really sour and it has such a distinguished taste. I'm not sure if you guys ready to see the worms, so trigger warning, skip in the next five seconds, please. Here it is. That's the worm. Hi. It's very important that you cook this with very, very green banana. Fun fact, you can also eat banana peel when it's young. Có tự làm mè Việt Nam ở ở Đức được không mẹ? Nhưng mà không có mè, không có cái mùi thì làm răng mà làm được. Yay! We need rice too. Con đôi đũa mẹ ơi. My mom said that for the protein, a uh, pig leg would be way better. We don't have pig leg today, but we have fish. Honestly, for this dish, I would rather eat the green banana. So the protein is not that important. In case you're wondering what is the dot 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 here, it's actually fish egg. Mm. This is the kind of dish you cannot find in Germany. Probably because of the scary fermented rice with worm and also the fermented shrimp paste. Um, but without that, it doesn't taste the same. And it took my mom like less than 20 minutes to cook it. Ba -ba 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 everything super quickly. Actually, I could make the vegan version of this dish and I still can eat it happily. The vegan version of this dish is actually quite popular in Vietnam. They use um, tofu instead. They would fry it and use it as a protein subsidized. And it probably tastes better. Oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so we are making sơn sao chua ngọt at the moment. It is stir fry, sour and sweet uh, brie. I love it. I cannot wait to eat it. The secret of this dish is that you need to fry the bones until they are all golden outside. It's gonna take a long time, but it's worth it. It is finished and it smells wonderful. <laughs> it's so good. Like 
we have the sweet taste of sugar and other flavor. And then we have the lemon, which my mom put it like at the last minute. So we still have like very strong lemon flavor here. Ah, this kind of dish fits so well with rice. I just need a bowl of rice here and I can be happy. The best part is that I can easily make this in Germany. Now that I know the recipe, I can just do this again in Germany. <laughs> so my mom is on the way to get some banana leaves. She told me to hold this knife. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Forgot to film the introduction, so here's my voice over. We are making zao tu. In English, I think you can call it Vietnamese sausage. I'm not sure about the right translation though. We use banana leaves to wrap around it. I know, very eco-friendly. The meat we are using is the ears and the face of the pig because that's where there's a lot of gelatin. So now we are frying them on our giant stove. Here we have fish sauce, here we have a lot of pepper. Here is properly something sweet. And what is it? Oh, that is more pepper, it's green pepper. Interesting. Okay. Wow, my mom is strong. This is a big event for the family because we only do it once per year during the new year and it takes the whole team to make one or two. So you have one layer of banana leaves, one layer of something made from plastic just to make sure that everything will be stick together. In the old times, the plastic one was used with like something that made from coconut <laughs> but I guess it's hard to find these days. Now you have to press them so that they are sticking together. They're gonna look like a, a triangle after this. This is 10 days after we make the Vietnamese sausages. This is how it look like. It's a bunch of pork meat stick together by gelatin and smell wonderful. We keep them into the fridge. It's 10 days and they are still very good to eat. It's crunchy. It tastes very much like, um, how do I describe it? Pepper. <laughs> Personally, I like the kind of sausages when you um, grind everything. I don't really like the one when you still see the chunk of meat like this, but um, we don't really eat this that often. We only eat them during Lunar New Year anyway, but it has a very interesting texture. And I love the cooking process of it still. You know, shrimp is a very popular thing to eat in Vietnam because we just have a lot of shrimp and there's a lot of shrimp farm in Vietnam. Even in Germany, the shrimp I could find are all from Vietnam. I'm cutting the meat and I'm going to chop them small to make the soup. It's been a long time since I touched raw meat with my bare hand. Normally I would have a gloves here. I'm just gonna move this to a higher place and then I have to go back to clean the mess. The shrimp is done and this is how it looks like. Very, very clean, ready to cook. My mom is already put some seasoning in it. Salt, pepper, unami, and now all I need to do is like cook it. I'm actually not a fan of this dish because I like boiled seafood more. But normally when you want to prepare something which is rich in protein like this and you want to eat it longer, you have to cook it like this, so it's gonna last longer for days. So every day you just take like, I don't know, 10 shrimp out and eat it. If you boil it, you have to eat it in the same day. The secret ingredient of this dish to make it more tasty and more flavory is actually sugar. In the north of Vietnam, we don't really cook things with sugar, but with this dish, we do put sugar in it. And we wait until the shrimp is completely cooked, then we'll put sugar and then the sugar would just started to like 
I don't know, get inside the shrimp and it tastes really good together. I still don't like it. Mẹ ơi, bỏ đường được chưa? Now we are cooking the beef soup. Mom said I have to mix them well together. According to my mom instruction, we have to put like cold water first. If you put hot water now, the meat would like stick together. We are cooking until it's boiling. Then we put hot water in it. And the meal is finished. I have to eat very quick now because there are eight people in this table and they eat very quickly. So if I keep talking, there would be no food left. <laughs> Enjoy. I want to eat cabbage today and we do have cabbage in the garden. The thing is we don't put petersa here. So um, the worms are eating everything and everything, <laughs> but it's definitely still way more healthy than the thing you find in the supermarket anyway. So let's take this one, I guess. Uh, Mom said I have to remove the leaves too. Ah! There are so many. One, two, three. Stop three stop little worms in here. Oh, I'm scared. Mẹ bắp được còn với kinh quá. Yay! In my opinion, vegetable taste best when you steam or boil them. And that's why mostly I steam or boil vegetable. I'm gonna boil this with some uh, ginger and a little bit of tomato. They always fit very well together. You can also fry them with like tomato and ginger as well. Um, I ate them a lot when I was a student. Just cut them into small pieces. And then spread them. I'm boiling some ginger and tomato. Now I just need to put the cabbage inside. With the boiled cabbage, I just dip them with the fish sauce and eat them with rice. Mmm, it's so good. Oh, so crunchy and sweet and tasty. My mom knows that I love seafood, so she bought crabs today. We're gonna eat them later. So we are making soup at the moment. This is tiny clams and it's very popular in my area. Hope you can see them. They're super tiny. We only can find them if you live near the river and we do. So we can have a lot of them. And I basically grew up eating this every day. <laughs> it's super, super yummy. And the taste is like very fresh and fishy. It's really good. These are the vegetable. Normally she like to have like a mix of a lot of vegetable, dill, cabbage, green mustard, anything that she can find in the garden, which is edible, she would put it here. All I need to do is just put them in here. And then after 20 seconds, we can turn it off. We Vietnamese don't kid around when it comes to vegetable. We just have a lot of vegetable when we cook soup. I bought this today. It's squid, but like those giant, giant squid, so they are super thick. And uh, I will make fried squid today. So she's already washed the squid and she's already put some salt into it. We have to Stir them until they change color completely from seafood white to thick white, like a milk white. My mom was yelling at me today because I bought this squid and those are like frozen squid. And she said that since we live near the sea, why did you buy frozen squid? Just buy the fresh one. But I'm just back home, I just forgot the 
good choosing skill. Okay, I'm just happy to have fit today. This is celery and onion. We're just gonna fry them together with this. Apparently, we forgot to put a tomato, so I'm just putting them right now. And yes, I don't need a plate. I can cut them just straight like this because of my good cooking skill. Normally, you're supposed to fry the tomato first so that there will be a nice color for the food. But I'm gonna fix it. I just went to the keller to pick up my Vietnamese eggplant pickle. <laughs> eggplant is perfect for eating with soup and rice, and that is basically my favorite dish in the whole wide world. Ooh, it smells really good. There's garlic in here. It basically tastes like crunchy eggplant. So this is the dinner for four people. My father is already ready to eat. My mom is preparing the crab for me. I'm gonna eat them now. Oh. I'm happy to eat the fresh seafood and not the frozen one anymore. My mom is very good at choosing seafood. Wow. Oh. Mm. Okay, my tummy is very satisfied and I guess this is the end of the video already. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed all of the food so far and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.